Hello users, welcome to CloudPin. In this episode of the video, I'll explain the CloudPin settings for you. First, open CloudPin. Click this button to enter the settings page. Next, I'll explain the tabs in turn for you. Explain the first setting option for you first. Enter a numeric value in this input box. The value indicates how many browser windows CloudPin are allowed to open at the same time, and the number of browser windows that can be opened depends on your computer configuration. The first checkbox shows Debug Window refers to whether the browser window is displayed when the ad is published. When CloudPin publishes an ad, you can select a display window or you can hide the window. Next, explain the third checkbox. If you select global in the account proxy interface, for example, double-click this account for editing. If you choose global in the proxy option, Back to the settings interface if you take automatic binding proxies. Then CloudPin will be the proxy that was saved before the global account binding was set up. It has been mentioned in the previous video explaining the proxy that each proxy can be disabled individually and this tab can enable all proxies. If you do not check this option, the proxy will not be bound under any circumstances. The second tab is to set up the SMS verification service. Because in some cases, Craigslist may require SMS verification during advertising. This setting is the service used to automatically verify SMS messages. Click on this link to learn about and register. Continue to explain the third tab. This tab mainly sets the automatic spinner function. Check this option to turn on automatic spinner. Write two options we can tick the file that needs to be rewrite automatically. CloudPin will spin automatically based on what you tick. If the spinner fails due to network timeout, etc. The number entered here indicates the number of times the CloudPin is allowed to try the automatic spinner again. The fourth tab is to fill out the zip code. Here, set the zip code for Craigslist or Kijiji areas. When adding an account, you need to fill out the zip code. Just to show you simply. You can also add an account without filling in the zip code. If you fill out the zip code when you add an account, the CloudPin will use the zip code that has been bound to it. If the zip code is not filled in, CloudPin will select the default zip code for the corresponding region. The drop-down box has three different rules for using the zip code, usually choosing the first one. The first one contains the other two. The first rule is that when CloudPin uses an unbound zip code account, CloudPin will search start at the minimum region level by level. When the minimum region cannot be found, it will look in the parent region. If it cannot be found, the zip code will not be used. Kijiji is the same way to use it.
The last tab sets the number of retries for different operations. When Cloudpin publishes a Craigslist ad or a Kijiji ad, the failure may occur when performing the following operations, and the Cladpin implements the retry number based on the value set in the value box. Above are all the functions of the Cladpin interface. Describes two features that need to be added in the top right corner of the Cladpin. The first is the automatic enrollment service. Follow instructions to download and complete automatic registration. Another one is the service of XSpinner. The last two tabs in the main interface, Logs and Record. You can look up the log and the report on a conditional basis to get a more accurate view of the ads you post. The video is end here. Thank you for watching.